going to head on up to Winona, Mississippi, where Fox News multimedia reporter Austin Westfall joins us live. Austin, heartbreaking to see the devastation around this community, just nearly 40 miles away from Rolling Fork, Mississippi. And Nash Weather Service has some information there with their survey teams on the ground. That's right, Jane. So basically what we're in right now is one of the homes that took a direct hit from an EF3 tornado. We're standing in the hallway where a family of four hunkered down. They hunkered down, they took the warnings seriously. These are the types of warnings that we hear on Fox weather all the time. You get to the most central part of a structure because that's the safest part of a structure if there's no basement. That's exactly what this family did. It's a man, it was his fiance, and it was his two children. He laid on top of them, shielding them while this 15 to 20 seconds of chaos ripped through their home. One thing to note, one of those children was just one week old at the time of this happening. This family did not want to speak on camera, but they did describe to us in detail the absolute horror and stress that was going through their minds as this thing ripped through, ultimately bouncing this roof up. As they were hunkered in that hallway behind us here, they were watching this roof bouncing. They said it maybe caught about one foot, two feet of air, eventually settling back down so much debris scattered around the house, but as we step outside, that's when you really get a better scope of the type of damage that we're talking about here. You'll see insulation strewn about, child's toys everywhere. This is a family home that this family has been living in, known an area courtesy of a drone team. Drone video shows you the damage seen across Winona. The storm moved through the southern portion of the town. Some homes taking a direct hit like the one we're at right now. No deaths were reported so far throughout Winona proper. We did speak with Jerry Flowers, who is the former longtime mayor of the town. He hunkered down with his family while the tornado ripped past his home. It, it was a roar. You know, people say it sounded like a train. This wasn't a train. This was a roar. It's like a, a lion roaring, and then it just got louder and louder. And I, I, to myself, I was saying, he's here. He has come. And one thing you're going to see if you're visiting Winona or a lot of these small communities that have been affected by this, you guys, is you're seeing people coming out and helping. They're showing their support. Any family that we've talked to in this immediate area, they say that there's been an explosion of generosity coming through, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's just an old acquaintance that came by and stopped by. They came and asked me while I was just here alone in my car. Uh, a man pulled up, asked me, hey, I know the man that used to live in this house. Is he okay? I told him, yes, he's okay, and that's the kind of town this is. Everybody knows each other. Everybody checks on each other. Ultimately, they're in recovery mode now. We're seeing a lot of linemen working to restore power. We hear from the former mayor. It could still be a few days before some of these homes are back online. Back to you. Austin, a home that's been in a family for four decades. I can imagine, you know, how heartbreaking that is to see the damage that's been done. So many memories that, you know, come to mind. Then you think, how do we move forward into the future? Will we rebuild? You know, that pre preliminary EF3 rating, you know, we had wind sustained over 100 miles per hour doing the damage here in Winona. Good to hear that no deaths have come out of the Winona proper, but we'll continue checking with you there, Austin, as you tell those stories. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.